welcome back. We are still in uh, El Kirtleya House or Gary Anderson Museum. And uh, this topic, we are going to shed the light on tourism and how it helps to generate 2 million employment uh, opportunities in the sector itself, in addition to 1.9 million in uh, related sectors. The total is 4 million jobs, representing approximately 12.6% of the labor force. The main objective of the sector has been to raise the competitiveness of Egypt's uh, tourism and to create the conditions by which is at least one member of every Egyptian family is employed in tourism or one of its affiliated activities. Other objectives include improving gender uh, equalities, uh, generating sustainable uh, energy and supporting uh, manufacturing creativity and responsible uh, consumption. All of these are in line with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And to shed more light on this topic, we are joined by uh, Mrs. Nada Hassan, and she is an Italian guiding uh, uh, tour guiding instructor. Hello and welcome to Narcos. Hello, thank you. For thank you, uh, Nada, for joining us. Thank now, you. you are part of a campaign. Uh, to promote tourism called We Narrate Egypt. Yes, it's uh, a campaign that launched from uh, our uh, campaign uh, that is mentioned as Nefret. Uh, our campaign that is launched uh, that you have mentioned, uh, We Narrate Egypt, we, uh, our aim is seeking to uh, revive uh, the civilization of Nile Valley to share uh, the information and our culture for students, uh, for kids uh, that they are uh, in private or public schools. So we try to organize uh, new activities that are suits uh, them. So uh, as kids, we uh, we organize mess uh, to tell them about it. Not only informations, not uh, only uh, that the pyramid is built in. Uh, uh, such a, uh, a date, but we uh, concern on uh, entertainment things that uh, that uh, kids will uh, will memory uh, at, uh, and also we didn't miss uh, students of universities that we uh, organize um, outings and workshop for them to uh, learn how to explain monuments and uh, sites in their language and how to deal with tourists. So our campaign is to narrate Egypt in uh, various of languages and all languages over, uh, all over the world because we want uh, uh, all world to see how our uh, history is important also for, uh, for the people, for Egyptians. Um, what was the motivation behind this campaign uh, uh, to be launched and, um, and what is your own motivation to be part of this campaign? Uh, my uh, my work uh, is uh, the only motivation for me because uh, I obsessed on, uh, I obsessed with the culture and uh, our uh, heritage. So uh, I'm trying to uh, from my uh, language Italian language I'm trying to uh, share our heritage our stories in uh, Italian language with my uh, students and uh, learn them uh, teach them how to uh, how to choose the entertainment stories that uh, Italian will uh, will destinated to it uh, our also our motivation is that uh, now our generations or new generations uh, know a little bit about their history, so uh, we want them to memory everything and uh, to be as a simple or a model for other nations that uh, our people or our generations know about their history and know about uh, their heritage, uh, know how to uh, go for any, any site and know what is the pyramid, what is uh, the, the pieces in the museum. So that will uh, make them special for, our, uh, for other nations. Uh, Nada, um, in your campaign, you stress uh, that the origin of some of the practices of yes. modern life yes. uh, come from the um, practices of ancient Egyptians. Yes. Could you tell us more about that? Okay, one of the uh, things that we use now from uh, ancient Egypt, uh, do you know the blue eye uh, that we use uh, to protect us from magic and uh, envious? 
Uh, this uh, eye, this blue eye, it is uh, the eye of Horus, is uh, the son of uh, Isis and uh, Osiris. Uh, when uh, he was uh, defeated, uh, the, uh, the, the god of the god said, uh, the god of uh, envious and uh, evil. But he uh, he best his uh, eye, so it replaced with uh, the blue eye that uh, now we use to uh, defect uh, and for uh, to defect the envy and the magic and the devil uh, things. Okay, you're you're focusing uh, and dealing mainly with students. Yes, all uh, of all because ages. Because they will, uh, because the students will um, make other initiatives. Will uh, will uh, uh, try to um, uh, try to enlarge their uh, uh, their heritage. Uh, try to. Um, explain the monuments and uh, the sites in their way uh, and also the students are the new our new generations that we have to focus on them mm -hmm. okay Nada, what are the mistakes or misconceptions that most people have about ancient egyptian civilization that you try to correct in your initiative okay the big mistake that the people uh, are focused on is that uh, them, uh, the pyramids were built by uh, slaves uh, but this is uh, a very big mistake because how this great edifice and how this great pyramid is built by uh, slavery uh, if we see slaves as they will build it in a random way in um, not by this uh, uh, this great greatness, uh, so it is a big mistake. Also, uh, not about ancient Egypt, but uh, about the Islamic era, that uh, many people think that the only thing that uh, the Islamic era has built is uh, uh, is only mosques. But the real thing that they built schools, but they um, know that because their schools have the style of uh, mosques. So, well, uh, Mrs. Uh, we ran out of time. Unfortunately, okay, we wanted to hear more uh, stories Thank about you. your campaign. Uh, um, Nada Hassan, uh, tour guide, Italian tour uh, guiding instructor. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You Thank you, Mercy. Thank you. And now moving to a quick break. So please stay tuned.